Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is wonderful to be back here with you today, showing off an upcoming action roguelite. This is probably going to be something you're going to want to throw on your wish list. These guys are also offering a closed playtest right now. And you may want to get in there and do that. This is Sworn, and I want to thank the developers for giving us an opportunity to take a look at the game. Um, what's interesting about this action roguelite is that it has four-player co-op. All right, your light attack is stronger and inflicts weak, draining touch. Let's do that. Some of you might be wondering why I was waving the mouse back and forth. Uh, this is a very early version of the game, so we're going to give them a pass on this. There's an issue with the menu right now that I'm experiencing where uh, it kind of just takes off on its own and goes nuts. And in order to hold it in one place, I've got to keep the mouse moving on the selection. Uh, that I'm that I'm aiming for. Other than that, I think the game's really, really neat, and I know they'll fix that anyways. So, uh, this takes place in the Arthurian time period. Uh, Camelot has fallen, and we are coming together as a ragtag group of warriors trying to usurp. Arthur and uh, restore Camelot to the cool place it usually is, right? Now what's cool about this is the bad guys can trigger the traps and we've got this mightier attack that uh, knocks them around a little bit. You can knock them out of the traps if you aim it correctly. There we go. Perfect. That's a lot of fun. I will say that I think folks are going to appreciate this game because it is quite challenging. At least I find it to be challenging. Timing is really important. Very easy to get hit, and you only have so much health. Now, the good news is there are a ton of upgrades to open up uh, throughout play. You'll notice in the bottom right corner there we've got a few different types of currencies and those are used for different things uh, there's four different character classes two of them are open now but I've only tried this uh, opening class so far and then you can open up all kinds of stat buffs over time as well uh, let's see blessing level up or Babid, the Dark Omen. Why don't we do that? Let's see what we got. Yeah, so you'll see how the menu is radiating by itself. Uh, your spell Q can backstab. It's legendary. Let's go with that. If we can get it. I think we got it. All right. Not sure what this is. Let's see what this is. You peer into the orb and see 120 gold. It seems like you could almost reach out and grab it. Well, it's there for the taking, right? Okay, so the backstab looks like it was pretty nasty. But you can see how quickly I'm getting banged up out here. And uh, I, I don't think I'm terrible at these types of games either. I just think this is, uh, this is a tougher one. You know, but if you enjoyed the challenge with something like Curse of the Dead Gods, you're going to feel right at home with this. I think we can all agree Curse was Curse was a more challenging experience than maybe Hades was, right? Okay. Let's come through over there. All right, let's take a quick sip of co coffee here. Mm-hmm. Cheers to you. I am drinking that Pete's Roast that I've been talking about lately. That single origin, notes of milk chocolate, nuttiness. It's wonderful. 
So I hope you've got something good in your cup and uh, that your day's going great. I actually got out and saw the new Ghostbusters. I would tell you that if your taste is like mine, do not listen to the critics. Go and see that film. We had a wonderful time. Went with my daughter. I am so glad we did. And I followed that up with a beef and sausage combo sandwich, fries, and of course, a chocolate cake shake. Now this is one of the coolest things ever. It is a chocolate shake with bits of chocolate cake in there. And it is a delicious chocolate cake. And that, folks, has been the food segment of today's experience. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling quite full, and uh, I, I don't know that it's the, the best idea right now uh, to be drinking this, this coffee that I am, because coffee can act as, uh, I don't know, let's call it a reset button, right? Uh, if you're with me, you're with me. If you know, you know. Some of you know. Oh, man. All right. I knew. I, I knew it was coming. I knew death was coming. That's all right. So now we've got these constellation looking things where you can spend the blue potion looking currency. So deal more damage the more curse you have. At 100% curse, deal plus 50% damage. But the thing is, you can flip this. The fountain after boss fights also removes curse effects. Um, I want to see if I can get to these others. I don't think we can until we unlock them, but hit harder and move faster. Now, that's interesting. Let's unlock this and see if we can get in there and buy stuff right away. Deal plus 50% damage to enemies above 90% health. Deal plus 30% damage to enemies below 25%. I like this. Let's do this. I pay to unlock. Oh, must unlock prerequisite skill first, which I believe is going to be located in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, this says there's a prerequisite skill as well. Huh. Oh, duh. All right. Restore plus one health at the beginning of every room. Wonderful. Okay, come on, goat. When you are revived, return with plus 10% more health. Well, I'm not playing with buddies at the moment. Start each run with plus 10 max health. Sounds great. Uh, start each run with plus 10 max health. Oh, nice, yeah, let's do that. More max health. Even more max health, this is great, okay. Getting a plus 5% chance that rooms will contain a breakable pot with health inside. Okay, love that. Why don't we give it another run? Now this is the area where you can uh, choose the other characters. It looks like there's other weapons to open up. And then these are the uh, spells that are on a cooldown over here. Really neat. Let's get back in there. Let's try one more. It's time for another sip. I'm actually drinking the coffee cold today. I like doing that every once in a while. More of an afternoon thing for me. Can't do cold coffee in the morning. I, I got a buddy that will drink not only cold coffee in the morning, but a monster right in the morning. I just, uh, I, I don't have the taste for it. You know what I mean? Never been a big energy drink guy. But how about you, the, the energy drink fans? Do you, do you do them in the morning? Mighty Touch, your light attack is stronger and inflicts stagger. At max stagger, enemies are stunned. That's kind of cool. Let's do that. All right, looks like it took that effect. I've had it sometimes where I make that choice and because of the menu, going nutty. Uh, it, it doesn't actually, you know, choose the one that I wanted, but I would imagine these guys are going to work on this stuff. In fact, uh, I've been talking with, I believe it's one of the community managers uh, on the team, and 
He's been super cool. You know, they've been taking a lot of feedback in the Discord from folks that have uh, been testing the game along the way. That's really great. Um, I'm guessing this skull means it's a little bit harder, you know? What do we got over here? Secret shop, okay. Oh, I spent all our coin, though. Chainmail, you take reduced damage from enemies. That's cool. So duration of five chambers. Neat. I like that. Um, let's do this. Maybe we'll get something extra for it being a harder room, if that's what that indicates. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I think we can agree that that's what that means. Looks like maybe the skull indicates uh, that there's an elite in the area, is my guess. I like that ability on the cooldown. That's a great way to dodge, just use that ability. All right, wonderful. I also appreciate that they pop up the little sign so that you know once you're fully charged. Okay, E to accept 200 gold, or we go with another capability. I think we should do that. Your spell deals extra damage and inflicts stagger. That's kind of cool. Enemies you stun are stunned longer. Well, that, that could be really good, actually. Um, all right, we're going to take that. That goes hand in hand. Now, I think we've got to do this just to get that to clear. A uh, couple of my runs, that pop-up was staying there for a while, but I noticed that if you tab into it, that'll eventually get it to come down. I excuse all of that stuff when the game is early, you know? I mean, that's that's what these playtests are for, to suss that stuff out. All right, guy. There it is. We got another dude in the area somewhere? I think we do. I like that red indicator on the side there. It's a nice touch. Wonderful. You know, it seems like they dropped the resources at a, a pretty decent clip too. Um, let's uh, let's try this. Oh, okay. Not enough coin for anything. That's a little bit of a bummer. Okay. Need sacred water. Bring something over there. All right. Oh, I see. I see the water laying here. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. This is kind of neat. Okay, we're gonna need a lot. Wow. Oh, what happened? Did I did I blow it? I guess we were on a timer. All right, get on those spikes. Let's come up here and get rid of the guy throwing stuff if we can. Oof.
I'm telling you, it's it's easy to get banged up in this one. I think you'd get really, really good at it after playing for a while. Okay, uh, Blessing Level Up or the Frozen Witch. Let's do that. Your spell is stronger and inflicts chill. Your dash leaves behind a Frost Nova. Or your companion is an Arctic Hare. I don't know that I have a com... All right, let's, let's do that. Let's get a companion. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know how long we're going to last with the companion, if I'm being honest. Looking at that health bar, but that's really cool. Oh, man. Oh! Wow. Alright, let's cruise over to there. Get those do Oh Nelly. Folks, I gotta tell you, this game's fun. This is called Sworn. And they are doing a limited playtest right now that you can try and sign up for. Let's get the additional health. Restore plus one health at the beginning of every room. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice too, but we are out of the stuff. I kind of want to go one more. It's addictive. For serious, it is. Um... What do these guys have to say? Always a pleasure, Squire. On days such as this, I find myself waxing nostalgic for my childhood. The lands were beautiful, fields fertile, with endless skies and a gentle breeze that one could not help but admire. I do so hope to see it again someday before my time comes. Go, Squire, and take back our kingdom. Okay, so I think he just provides some history on the different... Uh, powers you've opened up. Merlin, hail, Squire. Make sure to bring me any relics you encounter on your travels. They will be vital for enhancing the power granted to you by the Grail. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so Merlin's the dude. And then Nemu. It's strange, is it not, that the Grail's water gives shape to your very being. In some ways, we are similar, you and I, magic water given form from the unknown. No doubt our meeting was fate, Child of the Grail. I'm not sure what uh, Nemu provides yet. And then the other areas where you can choose from the different character classes and such. Let's see if we can get some different uh, blessings going this time. Maybe get a little bit further, right? I'll give one, one more. I know, that's what I said last time. Guilty. Guilty as charged. But it's proof of how much fun it is. I mean, I, I legit was going to stop after that second one. And uh, then with the way it ended, I thought, oh, that was that was going really well. well. One more game, ma. One more game. Ah, oh, man. Club is nasty. Okay, let's get something good here. Lou, the Hand of Fate, or Oberon, King of the Fae. Uh, let's try that. Lucky Touch, your light attack is stronger and can critical hit. That sounds good. Let's do that. We can get it to... Come on. There it goes. All right, we got it off, too. Now, I am playing keyboard and mouse, and... You know, I think that their recommendation, of course, is going to be controller. But for those of you like me that favor keyboard and mouse, I can tell you, it plays really well on it. Super responsive. I have had zero issues. 
All right, wonderful. Let's go with the health up symbol. That was nice on both of them. Okay, what do we got here? Plus 25. Nice. Oh, so that would give us 120 gold. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? A couple more baddies. Maybe I leverage my light attack too much and the heavy attack not enough. Because it, it's nasty. I mean, your, your light attack is doing 15 where that heavy, you know, you're, you're, getting, you're getting a decent go with 40 each time. I will go towards this horn looking item door. Alright. Come on over here, guys. Okay, I wanted that guy to be a little bit closer when that thing went off, but that's alright. Okay, so we got him. We got him through the water with the spell. That was pretty great. Now, what does this do? Blessing level reward. Okay, your light attack is stronger. Okay, so damage bonus goes up. Nice. Like that. Okay. Oh, that worked out on that trap. Ooh, love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can I tell you, I always appreciate when video games create traps that operate with the same way, whether it's the, the player character or the enemies stepping on the damn traps. I always appreciate that. All right. Oh my, beautiful. Let these guys take themselves out for me. Oh, that was a big hit. Damn, two in a row, wow. Nice. Okay. So I think we're gonna go this route again. Yeah, the artwork gives me a little bit of a darkest dungeon feel in a way. Yeah, you can see it, right? I like it. Looks like we got something over here that looks to be of interest. Remind me to check whatever the heck that thing is. Okay. Even bigger damage bonus like that. Let's see what this is. 
Oh, it's another secret shop. Well, we got coin now. That's good news. You have an additional mana charge. Okay. You take reduced damage from enemies. Uh, I like that. Remove some of your curse. You move faster. So I think we're going to go with damage reduction. And uh, not too worried about the whole max mana thing. We'll just save the coin here. Ooh. Well, that is a interesting icon, isn't it? Oh my. Okay. The questing beast. That was awesome. Okay. Wow. We got anything else hidden over here? Hey, cheers to you on that one. Let's take a sip here. Hmm. All right. This health will help if we can make it far enough. Finish room before interacting. Okay, we'll try. guys. Come on over here. I guess we can take that dude out. Oh. flying across so fast he missed the spikes oh no okay we need that quite badly perhaps do you have any health perhaps your heavy attack deals more damage I mean I think that's probably worth doing. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. What is this? Shimmering cocoon. You come across a cocoon unlike any you've seen before. Ethereal silk drapes from it glistening with an otherworldly radiance. Gang a healing butterfly companion, but you take minus 20. Or we could just commune. You focus your mind on the energy of the cocoon and you feel as though you are being warmed by the sun. After a few moments, the feeling subsides and you are left feeling refreshed. Oh, nice. I would have liked to see the companion. But uh, not when my health is that low already. Oh, get out of there. Oh, 
that's right, we've got the stronger heavy. Okay. I'd say this is the best run so far. Okay, that one was kind of dirty, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Should go with this Queen of Spiders. Venomous Strike. Your heavy attack inflicts venom. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Your companion is a brood mother, a giant spider that bites enemies to inflict venom. I kind of want a companion. Let's do that. The brood mother. Fight him. All right, turns out having a spider companion is cool as hell. I like that they inflict poison. Ooh. All right, let's come over here. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die on that one. I was pretty sure that connected. See if there's any health over here. No, nope. no health over there. What do we got up here? Like another area. Oh, that's how it's gonna go, folks. But I bet we got a lot of great resources to pump into this stuff. Let's see. When you are revived. Restore plus one health at the beginning of every room. Yeah, that could be that could be good, right? I wonder though. Treasure. Find artifacts to improve your power. Earn gold by upgrades on quests or improve your relationship with the Fey Lords. Uh, maybe, maybe you see more more of the unique power-ups I'm guessing. Find artifacts to improve your power. Why not, right? What do we got? Getting a 10% chance that rooms will contain a breakable pot with crystal shards inside. Sure, why not? Getting plus 10 grail water when defeating a boss. Well, I don't want to go too heavy on these. Because over here, I think, is really where I need the help, you know? 5% chance that rooms... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's do that one too. What does this do again? Deal more damage the more curse you have. I'm not sure what they mean by the curse thing. Gangs plus one dash charge. Okay. Folks, this is a game called Sworn. And it's coming sometime in 2024, and this is what I would describe as a action roguelite uh, with the benefit of you being able to jump in and play with friends. I think the artwork is just awesome. Absolutely wishlist this one. Keep your eyes on it, and I'll keep track of it as well. Uh, this is definitely a game that I'm going to want to play more of. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more of the game. 
Uh, you know, we didn't look at that other character class at all. If that's something of interest to you, I'd be happy to jump in again and uh, show that off. Maybe we, maybe we uh, have some more fun with this one. Hey, I hope you have some more fun in your day or some relaxation, whatever you're looking for. I hope it's great. And uh, yeah, we'll do this again sometime. We'll get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time. And uh, we'll give away a video game at least once a week. How about that? Those are fun to do. We can do those because of your support. All right. You take care. See you again soon.